you're in a library. It's a great big ever so flammable library and then with loads and loads and loads of books. Some of them have even been bound in human skin, which I remember is called anthropodermic bibliopeg. Mm. There are just so many books on the shelves that you would get totally squished if a shelf ever fell on you. And so you pick a book to read. It's a murder mystery and it's got suspects and a gruesome murder and a very clever detective. And it was the cat that did it so that the cat could eat the corpse. <laughs> and you finish the book and it's a great book. And now it's time to take another book. It would be beneficial to take advantage of such a wealth of books. I ask you to take the exact same book again. But there is a whole library of different books to read. Yeah, but we know that this book is good. If you chose a different book, who knows what it would be like? You might not even want to finish it. It's best to stick to what we know. Hmm. So you reread the book and it's a good book. In fact, you start to pick up on some new nuances that you didn't get the first time round. Like the cat's always glaring at the detective or washing its paws to get the blood off. <laughs> and so you finish the book. Now it's time to take a new book. Do you suggest the same book again? You are so smart. Doing the same thing again and again is a great way to get good at something, but it gets dull after a while. Creativity is getting to try out any book in the library, but you have to have the freedom to choose. Yeah, you might try a book and it sucks, but you don't have to finish a sucky book. 